continuing with the molar pregnancy that is hydatidy from mole in this video we will be seeing about the diagnosis investigation and treatment of molar pregnancy first the diagnosis diagnosis is by the identification of passage of grape like vesicles in the patients who have started to expel the grape like vesicles in the women who have not started to expel the vesicles usg examination that is ultrasound examination is helpful so in molar pregnancy the usg shows a snowstorm appearance and the absence of any fetal parts this is the diagnosis next is the investigations the most important investigation is measuring the serum beta hcg levels which will be more than 1 lakh milli international units per ml so if it is more than 1 lakh milli international units per ml this indicates that there is a large molar pregnancy inside the uterus next we also check for complete blood count with platelet count to rule out associated anemia and coagulation disorders the other routine investigations include renal function test coagulation profile liver function tests and thyroid profile to rule out hyperthyroidism or only the thyroxine tsh levels can indicate the hyperthyroidism next the management that is the treatment the treatment consists of two phases one is immediate evacuation of the mole and the next is follow up for detection of persistent trophoblastic proliferation or any malignant change this ptp stands for persistent trophoblastic proliferation or for, for any malignant change so the first step is evacuation of molar pregnancy before evacuating we should do chest x ray to see if there are any pulmonary lesions so before starting evacuation we should stabilize the patient start blood transfusion and blood component transfusion if there are any abnormalities in coagulation we should correct the coagulation profile if she is a known case of preeclampsia 
then this should be corrected by giving antihypertensives. Now coming to the evacuation. Suction evacuation is the treatment of choice. For this, 10 units of oxytocin is started IV. In ring lactate or normal saline. Then after the cervix is dilated, suction evacuation is done. with the cannula and now the material obtained is sent for histopathological examination and uh, a safer alternative for suction evacuation is the manual vacuum aspiration MBA stands for manual vacuum aspiration. So in this, this is a better alternative because there is decreased chance of perforation. And then we give eutrotonics like oxytocin or methyl ergometrin which are eutrotonics which contract the uterus and we continue the oxytocin infusion. This is the evacuation of mole. The next important step we have seen is the follow up. Follow up is equally important. Because 15 to 20 percent of the cases become locally invasive and uh, 3 to 5 percent of the cases turn into choriocarcinoma. So, after 48 hours of evacuation, serum beta HCG levels are obtained and this serum beta HCG levels are repeated every week till the levels are within the reference range in 3 to 4 weeks. So once the levels have reached the reference range which occurs within 3 to 4 weeks then monthly beta HCG monitoring is done for 6 months usually normal levels are reached within 8 to 12 weeks following evacuation. If the levels plateau that is remain the same or if they keep increasing then the patient is considered to have gestational trophoblastic disease this is a separate topic which we will be covering in our next video 
So if the beta HCG levels plateau or if they start increasing, then the patient is considered to have gestational trophoblastic disease. This has separate management. If the patient has persistent bleeding, or the beta HCG levels are increasing, then there is a need for curettage and histopathological examination for confirmation of diagnosis. The next point is contraception following molar pregnancy. Until the beta HCG levels become normal, until beta HCG levels come back to normal, barrier method of contraception is the ideal choice. Once the beta HCG levels come back to normal, then either combined oral contraceptive pills or intrauterine contraceptive device can be used for contraception. So this is all about the diagnosis, investigations and treatment of molar pregnancy. We will see about the gestational trophoblastic neoplasm in our next video. Thank you.